Hello friends, I am Nayesh Sheikh from Logdood.com and thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'll teach you how to make an LMS website. For those of you who don't know, LMS stands for Learning Management System or you can also call it an online course management website. For this video, I have taken inspiration from Udemy.com which is the number one website in this category. Udemy is an online learning and teaching marketplace with over 65,000 courses and 15 million students. I have tried my best to make this course exactly like Udemy in terms of design, features and functionalities. Let me first inform you about some of the core features that this website which we are going to create will have and after that we'll see the demo website which we are going to create in this video. First, here we can create courses that include different lectures. We can also create different types of lectures like audio lectures, video lectures, podcasts, quizzes etc. We'll also add the functionality that will allow other users to sign up and create courses. By creating courses, they can also earn commissions on those courses. For example, a user has created a course and set the price of $100 and you have set the commission of 50%. By the way, you can set any percentage of commission. You can set 50%, 90%, 10%, anything, it's all up to you. So if you have set 50% commission, the user gets $50 and you get $50. So this is how the system works. We'll also make sure that this website is user friendly, easy to use, fast, safe and secure and obviously beautiful in terms of design. Now let's see the demo website. So this is our demo website and this is Udemy. As you can see, this is the front page of Udemy and this is the front page of our website which we are going to create in this video. At the top, we have the first section which is a full width image section. In the background, we have a beautiful fill width image. The navigation is transparent as you can see, there is no background to this navigation. It is a transparent navigation and here we have the cart icon and the login button. After that, we have a title, subtitle and a search bar. This is very, very important for this kind of website. A search bar is very important because whenever someone is coming to your website, they are actually searching for some course. That's why a search bar is very important. Even in Udemy, if you see, we have a very similar section. It is a full width section with a background image. It has a title, subtitle and a search bar. After that, it has some categories and different courses. If you see throughout the website, it has different categories using the image and different courses. So for our website also, we have the same. In this second section, we have different categories using different images. For example, skating, photography, hair styling, guitar, etc. After that, we have our third section, which is a call to action section. We have an image in the background, a full width image. We have a title, subtitle and a call to action button. After that, we have some simple text. It's all up to you. You can have this or you can just delete this text. This is not required. This is just to beautify the website. You can put some text over here, like about your company, about your clients and so on. Now here we have the courses as you can see on the home page. Now there are different types of design for courses. For example, this is displaying in this manner. You can change the display. And here if you see there are around six columns. Here we have four columns. So you can easily increase or decrease the number of columns. You can have six, co six courses in a row, two courses in a row or four courses in a row like we have over here. After that we have the companies that create course on our website or you can have your clients your testimonials over here after that in the bottom we have a footer the footer is divided into four different sections or you can call it four different columns in the first column we have a logo this is a logo and a very short description about our company then the second section has latest post then we have latest categories or course categories you can set anything over here after that we have a subscribe form now I'm going to remove this subscribe form and I'll put something like this which you see on this website become an instructor and we'll give this link over here. So we'll that we'll see that later on how to do that. Then we have the bottom footer which is the copyright section as you can see again we have the logo, the copyright message and some social icons. We also have this button, a very small and beautiful button, but very, very useful. This is back to top button. When you click on this button, you're again back to the top section. Now let's see how a single course looks like. So let's open any one of this course. Let's open this software training course. 
and let's open some course from this uh, Udemy. So let's open this course. So this is how a single course looks like on Udemy. We have title, subtitle, the ranking, number of students enrolled, category and so on. And at here at the right hand side, we have the buy now button, buy the course button and some features with the icon like number of you know hours this course has, articles, we have certify, certificate for completion and so on. Then after that, we have the curriculum of this course. Then we have the reviews section. This is the review section. And at the bottom, we have related course section. Now in our demo website as well, we have the same design. We have this course at the top, the title, reviews, number of students enrolled, the instructor. Then we have short description about this course. Then at the right hand side, we have this course button, take this course, the amount of the course, which is $20. Then we have some information with some icons like the duration of the course. We get a badge in this course and we also will get a certificate of completion. Now I'll show you how to create different certificates with this website. So just stay tuned. We also have the curriculum section. As you can see, this is divided into two different sections. The first section is introduction and the second section is advanced computing. In the first section, we have two different lectures and in the second section, we have three lectures. The first lecture is a demo lecture. Anyone can see this lecture and they can decide whether to purchase this course or not. And after that, we have some lectures. As you can see, I'm not able to click on or on these lectures because they are reserved only for paid users. So we'll see how to do all these things. Then we have our review section and at the bottom, we also have this related course section. We also have a sidebar over here like related course carousel. As you can see, this is a carousel and it has related courses over here, top rated course and course reviews. We don't have any reviews. That's why it is showing empty. I'll also show you some extra stuff like creating about us and contact us page. Now let's see how the about us page will look like and whatever we are going to do in this website is very, very easy because I'll be using a page builder and I'll just simplify your work. So this is the about us page. As you can see, we have a top section. This is a very beautiful section. We have a title, subtitle and a call to action button. Again, the nav bar over here is transparent. And by the way, we are setting different nav bars for different pages. For example, when someone is logged in, they will see a different menu, a different nav bar. And when someone is logged in and or for, for example, when instructor, when the person is an instructor, he's creating courses on your website, he will see a different navigation with different option. And when the person is a student who is purchasing a code or who is purchasing a course, will see a different navigation with different options. So I'll show you everything step by step. Just stay tuned. So this was our first section. Now let's move on. This is our second section. At the left hand side, we have a beautiful icon as you can see. And at the right hand side, we have some text and a call to action button. When you click on this button, if you want to become an instructor, it says become an instructor. So if you want to become an instructor, you click on this button and you will be redirected to that page. Then we have the third section, meet the instructor section. You can reach out and earn referrals and all those things. I'll also show you how to create these different things over here. Now let's see how our contact us page looks like. Click on contact us. As you can see at the top, we have a map and again, it is a transparent map. The navigation is transparent. That's why we are seeing the map throughout over here. Then when you scroll down, you'll see this section. Okay. We have two different columns. These everything is divided. The content is divided into two different columns. This is the first column. This is the second column. We have some short description about the company, the contact us details. We have this contact us form over here, send us a message. And here we have our company's mission, vision, process, and so on. We also have different pages like all courses, all instructors page, become an instructor, register, and draw those kind of page. Now, I don't want to waste a lot of time in just showing the demo website because we actually have to create this website and we'll see everything step by step. There is a lot of thing that you are going to learn in this video. So let's proceed further. I hope this you like the demo website and you guys are really excited to make this website. If you guys are really excited to make this website, then just stay tuned. 
To create any kind of website, whether it be a social networking website, an e-commerce website, an LMS website like we are creating any kind of website, we need two basic things, a domain name and a hosting account. Now uh, what is a domain name? Now the name of your website or the URL your website is the domain name. For example, over here it is lms.nayashik.com or in simple terms google.com is a domain name, youtube.com is a domain name, the name which someone will type to get to your website. So that is basically a domain name. And what is a hosting account by the way? Now if you see this website, we have so many different pages and so many different you know, data on this website. We have these images like these beautiful images and we have all the course file like we will save all the course videos and so on. Now everything which we save on this website is actually saved on a computer you know some running 24 7 somewhere in the world okay so that is what a hosting it it has all your website data and it will present that data to anyone who visits your website at any time from any part of this world now both these things are very crucial in fact you just cannot proceed without both hosting and a domain account now to get both hosting and a domain account you have many different options now the one which I prefer and which I suggest is TMD. Now what you can do just open a new tab and type in blogtocom slash TMD. The link is also given in the video description below. You can just click on that link and it will redirect you on the same link or on the same page. Okay guys, so this is the page. As you can see, it is giving some discount, but we don't want this discount. The simple reason is because this is shared hosting. We don't want shared hosting. We want cloud hosting. So what you can do, you can just click on this button which says get into cloud now. It will redirect you to the cloud page. So this is the cloud hosting page. Now there is a lot of difference between shared hosting and cloud hosting. Now let's see first what is this page and what it has. So here we have three different plans, starter cloud, business cloud and enterprise cloud. Now when we scroll down we see all the different features that these plans have. For example as I said you moments ago that hosting is nothing but a computer which has all your files. So the computer which has all your files has to be a very good computer. So if you see over here they have got 6 core CPUs. The computer which these guys are using has 6 core CPUs. 6 GB of DDR4 RAM which means the computer which these guys are using to host all your data all your files of the of your website is a really good computer so we can trust this company after that we have unlimited bandwidth that simply means that you can transfer unlimited amount of data on your website you can also upload and download unlimited unlimited data on your website so that is also a very good and very important feature especially for this website for LMS website because users will be creating videos and they'll be uploading videos if you get a lot of users we, we definitely need unlimited bandwidth so this is very very important after that we have unlimited SSD space now this is the most important feature according to me now there is a lot of difference between SSD and HSD most of you most of you guys must know this thing this is a very basic things but if you don't know what you can do you can open a new tab or you can go to google and type in ssd versus hdd web hosting and you'll get a fair idea about the difference between the regular hdd and the ssd that we are get that we are getting over here now you can read any one of the article or all of the articles you'll get a good idea about ssd hosting now what i do uh, i click on images so that we get images and we don't have to read anything let's open the first image as you can see here we have three different criteria the first one is speed as you can see the speed of ssd is way more than the hdd sometimes it is up to 20 to 30 times faster than the regular hdd and we want our website to be faster that is great for seo purposes it will rank your website higher on google and different search engines after that we have IOPS again it says higher is better and you can see the difference is just just great amount of difference then we have latency it says lower is better and you can see the difference again over here so you should know this the SSD is way more better than the regular HDD 
Now I hope you guys know the difference between SSD and HDD and if you see over here it has unlimited SSD now that is really crazy. Not only it has SSD but unlimited SSD space so this is really amazing. After that we have unlimited website hosted. Now this is also a very very important feature because what is this first let us let me explain you what this is. For example we are creating this LMS website. So we will host this website on this particular hosting plan which we are purchasing right now. Now suppose tomorrow you want to create another website and you don't have to purchase a new hosting plan for that. You can host unlimited number of website on the same plan. So this is also a very important feature. After that we have free domain. So we'll be getting a free domain with this plan, with any one of this plan actually. So nayashake.com is a domain name which I got for free when I signed up with TMD hosting. We have premium support free cPanel, beautiful web server, very useful web, web server. We also have wildcard SSL. Now this is also very very important. Now what is an SSL? This is the NSSL as you can see this secure certificate or secure socket. This is what an SSL is. You see any website and you will find this thing any good website. Okay, you see Udemy, you see uh, Gmail, any anything you'll find this thing. Now wildcard SSL means you can have unlimited number of SSL certificates on your website. For example, if you have created 10 different websites and you have hosted all the 10 websites on the same hosting plan, you can have SSL certificates on all 10 websites. Now that is really amazing. Because if you go to purchase a single SSL, it will cost you around 40 to 100 bucks. So you're saving a lot of money. After that, we have optimum cache, memory cache instance of 256 MB. Performance is three times better than these two plans. You also get a 60 day money back guarantee. So you can decide between all these plans. I would recommend you to go either with business plan or enterprise plan don't select the starter cloud there is a very simple reason behind that here you can host only one website so suppose in future if you want to create another website you will have to purchase a new hosting plan so that is not good so i am using the enterprise cloud so i'll click on this button which says get started so let's click on this now here you have to type in the domain name which you want for free for example, suppose you want Nayash Shake, obviously you won't want, but suppose you want nayashake.com, then you can just type in Nayash Shake 1 and you can select any extension. You have .com, .net, .org. If your website is country specific, you can select country specific extensions like .in for India, .uk for United Kingdoms and so on. Okay, after putting your domain name and selecting the extension, just click on proceed. Now here you have to put in all your basic information like your first name, last name, email address, phone number and so on. Then the second section is the payment information, the type of payment which you want to make. For example, if you want to make payment through PayPal, you can select PayPal. If you want to make payment through your credit card, debit card, your ATM card, you can select this credit card and put in all the information over here. Then after that we have purchase information. The first option over here is to select the data center location. Now you have to select the one which says nearest to you. For example, for me, Singapore says nearest to me or nearest to you. So I'll select Singapore. Now period by default, it is 12 months. I also recommend 12 months. Don't go with the one month specially because you'll have to pay $7 extra each month. So that is not at all recommended. Go with 12 months. Then we have domain privacy. Now if you want your mobile number and all those information to be private and not shown to anyone then you can just tick mark this or you can just remove this then we have the most important option according to me which is the promo code here you have to type in nayar 7 n a y a r and numeric 7 and click on apply now as you can see when we click down apply it says this promo code gives you 7% of this purchase and 7% is the highest discount that TMD offers on cloud hostings. So you're getting the highest discount possible. This coupon and all the links are given in the video description below so you can check them out. After doing all these steps just tick mark over here and click on checkout. Once you click on that checkout button you will receive an email from TMD which would look something like this. 
Now this email is very very important because it has all the important information like your FTP username, password, your server IP, name servers and so on. So make sure you save all this information. If you own multiple uh, email addresses then you can forward this thing to those different email addresses. Now what do you have to do? You have to click on this link which is at the bottom. The link is control panel link. Just open this link in a new tab. If you don't know your control panel link, you can just type in your website name slash cpanel. Okay, for example, if your website name is nayashik.com, then you type in nayashik.com forward slash cpanel and you will be redirected to this section. Once you come up over here, just copy the username and password from, the, from that email which you got from TMD and click on login. Okay, so this is our control panel. This is a very similar control panel. All the companies have a very, very similar control panel. There is a lot of options over here, but we don't have to do anything uh, with these options. The option which we want is under Softaculous app installer because we have purchased the hosting. We have our domain name. Now it's time to install WordPress on our domain name. So we'll click on WordPress over here, which is under Softaculous app installer. Click on install now. Now from here you have to select in the domain name on which you want to install the WordPress. Here if you are use if you are creating anything for the first time, if you are creating this website for the first time and if you are doing all this step for the first time, you will have only one domain. But I have done these things a lot of times so I will get a lot of options over here. So I will select the one, the domain which uh, on which I want to install WordPress, select that domain after that we have indirectory option. Now make sure this box is empty. By default WP is already written, written over here just delete that and make sure this box is empty. After that you have some site settings.